Hey gang, Uncle Boy here. Welcome back. And as always, thanks for tuning back in. So um, I wanted to spend a little bit of time uh, just following on with um, the Naze 32 Repair Series. I mean, I call it the Naze 32 Repair Series, but in reality, you can apply a lot of the stuff that you learn here to just about any flight controller because they're all more or less the same, uh, more or less the same components a lot of times. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at a few different examples of, uh, of common problems that, that, uh, that come up when boards break. Either through um, either through builder error, shorting something out, you know, getting the board wet, whatever. So uh, the very first thing that we want to do, uh, so that um, we can establish a baseline, is to just get some numbers so that you you have a baseline to be able to compare your board against. And you don't need anything fancy for this. So, you know, if you have a multimeter with a continuity, uh, you know, with a continuity mode, right there, and then just uh, you know regular voltage checking, um, you know, being able to check voltages, then you should be good to go. Now the, the way that we're going to do this, and I'm going to zoom in so that you can see it. Uh, we're going to I'm going to show you where to check for shorts, and I'm also going to show you how to verify voltages for the two, well, for the three or four most common problems that 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 do uh, that that, are, that do arise when you run into problems. So um, the the four components that I want to key in on are obviously the CPU, uh, this Schottky diode right there, this linear or rather the switching regulator right over here, as well as uh, the accelerometer right here. Got a power supply set to five volts. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is just turn turn that on. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is going to just probe the ground pin, any of those pins will do, and then you're gonna probe this pin right here on the Schottky diode. And this is the output pin. Oops, hang on. Let's see if I can get in there. And you should see about, with my hand here, about four and a half volts. So you have, let's see, what's coming in here? This is just direct from the rail, 5.14. The uh, Schottky diode drops it down to 4.7. And now again, if, if um, this is one of the most common parts to uh, break, if, uh, if it did pop, you would, you would see a burn mark on top of it. And the next component we're gonna check is this linear, or rather the uh, the switching regulator. This is the input pin, the bottom right hand pin. So four, six, eight. That's connected directly into the Schottky diode. Let me just switch hands here. And then this is the output pin, bottom left hand corner. And you should see a solid 3.3 volts coming out of there. So that those are your power check. Those those are your power checks. Very easy to do. Um, if everything's working, then, you know, the, the board should be, uh, you know, it should be a regular temperature. You should see no issues with it. But if the board's heating up, that's the best indication that there's a short somewhere in the system. So I'm going to show you how to find those. Okay, so this is the board with the blown CPU, and all you have to do is probe one of the ground pins. It doesn't, it doesn't matter which one you choose, so I'm using the receiver port over here because that's what's accessible. And then you're, uh, you've got your multimeter in continuity mode. And the two pins in question are these ones right here, top right and bottom right. And those pinouts are available from the data sheet. But if you if you probe those two pins against ground, then you know that the, uh, the power rail inside this chip is fused and then that chip has to be replaced. And while you're here, let's see, so ground. The other thing that usually ends up going first is the accelerometer. And this is the power, this is the VCC pin for the accelerometer. And notice on here, no beep, but if we go to this board, let's see. If we go to this board, probe ground, probe that pin, that accelerometer is uh, toast as well, so the power rail in there is fused. Okay, so we have uh, the Maze 32 Micro, or, or the Amaze uh, 32. Uh, so, yeah, again, we're just going to probe the ground line, the ground rail there. And then uh, the VCC pin for this accelerometer is the, one, the pin that's opposite pin 1. So that'll be this pin right over here. And notice that's, that's busted. And then for this, I mean, you can double check the CPU while you're here. Okay, so <laughs> it's actually both both components uh, got got toasted there. So uh, this board will have to have 
the accelerometer replaced as well as the, uh, the STM32. This is a $10 part. This is a $6 part. Both are av available on, uh, on DigiKey. Now this last board's the uh, the SP3 racing board. Uh, this was just another board that got sent in from one of uh, one of our flying buddies. Um, the reason that all this captain tape is uh, is, is out here is I'm prepping this uh, to, to remove this part. And part of the issue is if you try to apply heat to uh, to this part here, you'll end up melting these parts there and then just making a bigger mess. Um, technically, you could probably remove these and uh, you know just reseat them after the fact. But um, trying to trying not to make this more difficult than it needs to be. But again, um, pin one, and then VCC will be the pin that's opposite this. Notice that's, uh, that's grounded there, and then while we're in here, just wanna double check. While we're in here, we can go in and check these pins out. Okay, this one's good. And I mean, they're both they're both the same rail. So if you if you don't get contact on one, you won't get get it on the other as well. And that's it. Uh, so this part's going to have to be reflowed. Um, again, this is tricky just because of these plastic JST headers. Uh, so you have to make sure that you shield these prior to applying heat to this board, or you you will burn and, and melt those components. Uh, but you can you can pop that off and then um, just replace that and then you should be you should be in good shape. So yeah, again, just a just remember just a quick review of of the board. When you apply power to this, you you're looking for about uh, uh, four and a half volts out on that pin. Uh, you know the same voltage going into there, three point three coming out of there, uh, and then as far as probing probing the CPU, the power pins for the uh, the STM32 or that pin right there, that pin right there, and then for the accelerometer it's going to be whichever pin is opposite pin 1. So that's pin 1 right there and it's going to be this pin way over here. And if any of those beep in continuity tests during your continuity test then you'll know that, uh, that that's the part that shorted out. Now the CP2102 also has a power output but it's pretty rare. I haven't seen a, a case yet, yet where that's burned out. Um, the other things that you could check are the other diodes over here, though um, it's it's weird. If you're going to find a problem, the problem is going to be over here, but it doesn't hurt to check these other diodes if you're running into issues. Just focus on these four components and you should be, you should be all set. Yeah, so if you have any questions, just pop them in the comments below and uh, thanks for tuning in.